flow is crack, I'm serving fiends raw. All this pain in my memory. Evil spirits trying to take away from my energy. I'ma ride till they sense me. I be on my knees praying for the necks of my enemies. When I'm gone, they'll remember me. Tell my Akiyam, don't cry, it was meant to be. Do this work until they finish me. I be praying for a swift downfall of my enemies. I'm a rebellious slave, that's what I told the masses. They gotta hold a religion, was controlling the masses. Alright, Salomon, 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 Salomon. Kahala Yahweh by Shimama Shiakawasai, Bahasim, Haraka Kadesh, Brakata Yahweh, 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 to the one-third men, women, and children that's guarding the truth to the best of their ability. To the high by Ashad that would die, the house of David. To the elect, 144,000 chosen from the beginning of existence, faithful from the womb. Kwame Asha'ala, rise Israel, Lam Lam Young, forever and ever. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine are the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Lam Lam Young, Aman. Alrighty, I'm going to keep this short and sweet um if you guys have been paying attention to what i've been telling you i've been talking about like people in the corners asking for money um okay so there's this guy that i told you guys that i've been dealing with and the first time i dealt with them you know it's like the most i kept putting the spirit on me like go deal with them and it's like around the same time elder tahar was dealing with an angel on his video you know and uh you know, the most I can put in my spirit to go deal with them, you know, you know, grab them this, you know. So, you know, I went and whatever I got, I grabbed them for that day. I'm not going to go into details on that stuff that's between me and Yahweh. And then the next time, you know, I didn't see them. We discussed a little bit of the Bible, talked about, you know, not really discussed. We kind of talked about Israelites and stuff going on. Then the second time I seen them, it was like the same thing. You know, we kind of discussed, you know, the most I put spirit up on me. And, you know, whatever it was that I gave him, you know, whoop -de whoop And we discussed some more stuff and talked. And I got to know his name. We trapped it up. And then this time, I saw him. I waved to him, said, what's up? He said, what's up? And I'm at work, you know, because I've been at work the whole time, both times. I'm uh, driving past him. And uh, the most high was like, Yo, you know, you should stop and talk to him. And as I was driving by, he called to me. And I was like, you know what? I'll just see him when I come back. You know, I'm gonna go grab this load and I'll come back and I'll see him. Uh, and you know what? This is also just to let you know when the Most High put that spirit on you, do what he's saying right then and there. You know what I mean? Cause uh, when I came back, I was like, oh, he'll be there. I'll, I'll see him. You know, I'll holler at him. And you know, the Most High was putting in my spirit like, yo, stop. He might need something. You know, he might be trying to go somewhere. So after I got done doing what I was doing, filling my truck, grabbing my load, I went back and I come around to make the left and he's gone. And that happened to me the second time I saw him, I was in a rush, you know. Uh, I was like, yo, I better hurry up before he leaves, you know, because, you know, I'm trying to get him whatever. I was like, let me get him because the spirit was putting that urgency on me like, yo, hurry up. Hurry up, he's going to leave. And as I, the second time as I got there, he was leaving. And, you know, I called him right away. And he was like, oh, man, yeah, thank you. You know, I appreciate this, you know, whoop de whoop so this time I come back around, I'm, I'm getting off the highway and uh, he ain't there, he's gone, he's gone. So I'm like, damn, I was like, what if he needed something, you know? What if he, he just needed something so he could get somewhere? <clears throat> I'm like, dang, man, I'm, I was like, I messed it up, you know, I'm praying to how I'm like, you know, I apologize. I was like, yo, if I mess it up, I'm sorry, you know? So I pull up, I do my job. Um, I do my job, I dump, you know, my, my load. And, um, and I kid you not, because his car, he's gone, everything's gone. I kid you not, I start coming up around, I make a right to come out of the place and come around the corner, and he's there. And his car's there, he's there because his car and everything was gone. And I was like, yo, man, I just, you know, I stopped, I pulled over. We chopped it up for a minute. You know, we talked about the Bible, 
he started asking me about the, you know, like Muslim stuff. And I was like, you know, I told him how the Quran says that everything in the Bible says, you know, says that the Bible is truth. So I was like, you don't even need another book. You just need the Bible. And we chopping it up. And, you know, we really going into stuff, talking about something. And he got this spirit, man. Like, I'm like, he, you know, I, he Judah or something, you know. But I'm like, yo, are you? I'm like, you know, he's talking. I'm like, yo, are you a Benjamite or a Levi? I'm like, are you Haitian, Jamaican? He's like, I don't know, you know. But he's like, you know, I be dealing. He like, the father be watching out, you know, for me, you know. And I'm like, you know, I tell him about the scripture that says many have entertained angels unaware, you know. So, it's like, I'm just going to pull up. I'm going to finish this real quick because there's a truck waiting because I want to get this out. You know. So, you know, I said there's a verse that says many of entertained angels unaware, you know. We go into a couple different different scriptures and things, and he's like, "Man, you real knowledgeable about this stuff." And, you know, I'm like, "Yeah, you know, if you reject knowledge, she gonna reject you." You know, and I start telling the names, and you know, I tell him Yahweh, you know, and he's like, "Yahweh." He goes, he goes, you know, I was like, you know, when people say Yeshua, that's actually, you know, they you know represent, you know, I'm like talking about, you know, Joshua and stuff, and I was like, that actually means Yeshua, you know, which means, you know, you know, I'm breaking stuff down. And because I'm like, Yeshua means to heal. And, you know, I was like, in the son's name, he's, you know, is Yahweh Shah. He's like, I'm not going to be able to remember that. I'm like, yeah, you are. If you heals, I can remember Yahweh. I was like, well, if you can remember Yahweh, you know, just put Shai on the end, Yahweh Shai. It's the same. You know, I was like, those are important. You know, I tell him why the names are important because I said in the last days, you know, which we in. And he's starting to see. He's like, I told him, like, you know, you don't want to be calling on no Cesare, no Seraptus Crispy, no Jesus. You want to call on the right names. And he's, he started cracking up. He's like, yeah, that makes sense, you know. But he starts going. He says the same thing. He goes, the same thing that I was feeling. Because, I, you know, I gave him whatever. And, you, oh, here's the thing. So, you know, I started to give him something, you know, because he's like, yeah, you know, whatever. You know, the spirit had already told me when I was driving down the hill the first time after he was gone. I was like, I'll give him, give him exactly this much, you know. So... You know, that's why I was like, oh, I would I would have, you know, gave it to him. Oh, and the thing is, this morning, you know, I gave my truck and my boss or the owner of the company gave me a bonus. He just left some cash sitting on with a nice letter. You know, it made me feel like, you know, what I mean, I kind of teared up like, yo, that's the first time somebody does some shit like that for me. And he gave me a cash, stack of cash like, yo, you've been working so hard. Here, here, just, here's a bonus for you. I was just like thankful. Like, you know, I, I felt appreciated. You know, like he basically said he was appreciative of it. I mean, that's, that felt real good, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, so I was like, yo, what am I going to do with this money? Like, I'm going to do something with it, you know? I, and that was, you know, the most high wanted me to bless him, you know? So, because uh, sometimes you get blessed, but you know, the blessing ain't just for you, you know what I mean? It's for other people as well, you know? You you, you may get blessed so you can bless somebody else. Um, but, uh, yo, so the ot goes, he goes... He goes, you know what's crazy? I said, you know, many of the entertained angels unaware, you know, and I told him that angels actually meant pastors, you know, people just come in with this word. And, you know, he said, uh, you know what's crazy? He goes, every time I needed something, you gave me exactly what I needed. And I was like, this is not me. I was like, this whole time we was talking about this was like the most I was meant for you to hear this word before you dip out because he's about to go to a different state, you know. He said, there's more work out here, you know, he was saying, or out there, because he was saying, you know, the people here are a little racist, because the town I'm in, and I'm like, you know, there are some people, you know, some people that be trying to get over and stuff, and I don't know if it's exactly because, you know, race or whatever, you know, and I explained to him, I was like, you know, you're going to have white people that go back to us, and you're going to have black people that go back to Esau, you know, so, you know, and he was like, yeah, I was like, it ain't about color, you know, it's about, you know, the spirit of the forefathers, and that's how you got judged. Oh! And he said the same thing. You know, there's a lot of women out there asking for money. And he said, yeah, the women make more than us. And I was like, yeah, that, you know, this one woman, you know, pulled up, you know, that's been there. You know, I've been, I've been helping them out, too. And I was like, you know, except for the other day, the most, the, some dude pulled up, you know. And I was like, oh, that's her husband. You know, I don't need to be helping her. Or that's her boyfriend. And I told him, he was like, yeah, man, that's her husband. You know, he just be drinking and shit. And the girls stand out here and make money. I was like, well, they told me they live off of BLM land. He's like, yeah, they do, but, you know, they make money. And I was like, that makes sense because yesterday, you know, I was hanging out with the owner's son. 
and you know he's making sloppy joes or whatever for us and he's like you know some of those people got men around the corner that watch them so they could get you know make money so that goes back to what we've been telling you women as well you think you're gonna get a man and he's gonna pimp you out in some way so he make money you know so you know that spirit and the funny part is right after he said that you know me and him got done talking i checked my phone and the lady had messaged me back because i said you know i had invited them to lunch i was going to lunch i was like i don't mind feeding people you know and she was like, oh, I don't always check my phone and whoop de whoop And she goes, oh, that guy was just some other guy that'd be out there asking for money. I was like, well, I just heard that that was your husband. So, you know, we don't deal with people like that, you know. Ain't something we deal with. You know, your husband out there and your husband asked me for money, not the other way around. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm not sorry. But uh, back to what we were saying, that guy, uh, the ox said, he was like, you know, Every time I needed something, you brought exactly what I needed. He goes, and he had this look, and he was telling me this story. And, I, you know, you could just completely tell. I was like, he goes, no lie. He's like, uh, he's like, I was sitting in Reno, and he was like, man, I was sitting there praying like I was thirsty. He was like, I needed a soda. He's like, man, he goes, I was just saying, like, I need a soda. I need a soda. And he said he just looked up, and there was a lady standing there with her hand out with a soda. Like, hey, you want this? And he was like, yeah, and I, you know, you could just tell by the expression on his face that he wasn't lying, you know what I mean? So I was like, yo, man, you know, everything is for a reason. I said, even for you to be right back here, because I told him, I said, man, I prayed. I literally prayed when I went down there, like, yo, I messed up. He was like, nah, man, it's all right. I was like, nah, because you may have needed something to go somewhere. And he was like, yeah, but, you know, he had just told me too to go that he was leaving, you know, going to Reno or whatever. You know, and I was like, he was like, I might not see you no more because I'm going to go to Reno for some work. And I was like, yo, that's why he wanted me to give you. So I switched out what I gave him and gave him exactly what the most High told me to give him. And that was because that whole reason when I came back off the highway the first time, I was like, he may have needed something because he had somewhere he had to go. So when you think, you know, the most High be dealing with you, you just sometimes you just got to fucking listen. You know what I mean? And like it says. Here in Hebrews 13 and 2, it says, be not forgetful to entertain strangers. And I was telling them that we sometimes you got to entertain strangers for th thereby some have entertained angels unaware. So, you know, that I mean, that was just it was the spirit, man. Like, it, it, I mean, man, that that it was like perfect spirit because, you know, even when. <laughs> One day, you know, uh, he was hungry and he didn't, he didn't have to tell me he was hungry. And I told him, I said, he, and he said, man, it was crazy because you brought me stuff exactly for what I needed for that day because I was asking for that day. And he was like, I was thirsty. Or, you know, he was like, I was thirsty and you brought me that. And then he was like, he didn't, we didn't even talk. Like, he didn't ask. I was hungry. You brought me this. And now I'm about to leave and you gave me this exactly. I was like, yeah, how would it just meant for this to happen? You know, and I said, there, you know, he's omnipotent. There's no, there's no such thing as a, you know, misunderstanding. And I said, you know, for his people, he said, my people going to eat. My people know my name. So make sure you know the name. And I was like, uh, he know what you need before you even ask it. And then he, that's what he you know, he went to that story about, uh, you know, about that soda. And I was like, man, before you even ask, he already know what you need. So, you know, the most high, either either he could have been an angel or the most high is calling out to him. You know what I mean? So, you know, he could, the most high could be calling to him to be answered. And, you know, I told him too. I said, you know, you pilgriming right now, uh, which uh, I learned a word from uh, Elder's Heart the other day called a bag of a vagabond a vagabond like a person you could be rich and be a vagabond because i have friends that you know sleep in a car i'm a vagabond you know i'm from place to place couch to couch you know um but you could be rich and do that you know i got friends that go hiking and do that stuff you know and i told him i was like yeah you could be you know you could be traveling around you know it's like i'm messing this up um i forgot where i was gonna go with that it's like it um but you know oh i, I was telling him you know these women and stuff, they going I told them that, yo, you, there's 28 million people that's about to be on these streets and stuff for like extra. And he was like, I was like, that's only the people on the lease. He goes, yeah, because of coronavirus. So I was like, yep. And he, you know, he knows he's seeing it. I'm like, you know, women are trying to take over, you know what I mean? Like the men, like that's men that's asking for help. And don't nobody want to help the men. You know what I mean? Stop giving your... Uh, it's almost like... Fuck it. Stop, it's almost like stop giving your money to these women. Give it to the men if the men are out there. And then the women gonna go get up under a man. 
That's how it needs to be. And I told him, too. I was like, we was talking about that, too. I was like, yo, the women are so out of order. You know, we all out of order. You know, we talked about chariots and, and stuff. And he was like, man, you so right, bro. And he started talking about, you know, picking up a woman. And he said she stunk. And he even offered to buy her a bath at a truck stop. And the woman got mad at him and cussed him out because she stunk. Because he offered a bath for her. That reminds me of when Malek Aria told, he said, I told my girl she stink. She got mad at me. Like, it's my fault that she stinks. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm lucky. I got to be lucky that you stink. Like, no. You know, he was, saying he was only giving her, to her a ride because she was going near where we was going, you know, or where he was going. And uh, he said he just left that woman. And that's what's going to happen to a lot of you women. You don't get in order. Men ain't going to take your shit. If a, if men that are homeless ain't going to take your shit, who do you think going to take your shit? Ain't nobody talking. You know, we ain't taking that shit, man. Either you get in order or you get left. And that's crazy, man. I even, I think I even, I had a vision or a dream that, man, I think I was visualizing that I was, I'm, and I'm right now I'm in the process of even buying more land probably. But I had I already got 10 acres and I was thinking about getting another 10, but I don't think the most high wants me to get these other 10. I would think he wants me to focus on the 10 that he gave me. Um, that man, and I'm just having women up there not just women you know like other families and stuff but you know it's order man like it, there ain't gonna be no out of order you know and like even like my brothers and my uh my father and them they coming in they trying to do their stuff with their wives so i'm like you know don't be talking to my women don't talk to my wives you do this if you was still in order take your ass back over to where you was at if you 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 know you got so much faith in what you're doing you know because over here we're gonna serve y'all by shimmy out shy we're gonna do things in order don't worry about my women. Worry about your family. If y'all niggas is in order, then there's no point of you being here. If, you, if the Most High is blessing you, why the fuck are you here? You know. So I, I I was having like some visions of that, man. I think I even had dreams. Like I think I was dreaming about having multiple women with me. Like to be honest, and they was in order, humbled. You know what I mean? Humbled, humbled, like humbled women. Cause there's a lot of humbled women walking around right now, but you don't know cause they won't speak up. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 crazy, and that's and that's a blessing. You know that they they ain't speaking up. You know what I mean? They quiet. Like you know they want to help you out. Like if I want to drive to California to buy something, she in the car being quiet and submissive. You know, helping me take care of the kids, helping me get the stuff for the land, helping me do this. Humble, head wrapped, quiet. May may have not been a virgin, but came from. A, I keep seeing myself with. I don't know why. Like seeing myself with like, like some woman that finally got out of prostitution. Not that I want to have sex with her, but she's just a pleasing to be around. She wants to help. She wants to do better. You know, like you know, she sees that the other men were wicked, that were beating her. But then I don't want to be a simp at the same time. You know what I mean? So the women I, I keep telling you the women that come to me and i don't want you women to be like damn i gotta get prostituted to get with this man no it ain't like that man i just don't want that feminism bullshit because that's even when i tell my brother in one of my dreams my vision take that shit somewhere else if you think your wife has the right to talk then take your asses down there go back to go back to where the fuck you were if you guys are doing great and you believe in feminism go back there if you believe in feminism then she should have no problem carrying that shit and building this house by herself do that shit. I'm going to tell you do this and I'm going to leave. You better have that shit right when I come back. You know, that's that's what it is. And there, don't, don't get it twisted. There's women out there that could build houses, man. I met some frame worker or some uh, women that put up, uh, uh, what the fuck goes over the wall? Some plat, fuck, you know, wall, put up the drywall quicker than niggas, better than niggas. While y'all niggas sitting in a cool AC working in call centers, not that, you know, I'm saying all y'all niggas gay, you got to do what you got to do. But a lot of y'all men in there are just doing wickedness, you know, looking at other niggas. You got your jaw dropping at bitches and shit, you know what I mean? Stank ass hoes. Oh, so I just lucky. I got off. But that go back to that dude, the stank part, because I told him, I said, hey, you know, the Bible does talk about that. The Bible says that in that day, many women going to stink. He's like, yeah, these women stink, dude. They out of order. He goes, and I said, I literally, this is why I say, man, he must have been an angel, because I said, yeah, you know, in the Bible, you know, basically the women used to smell like essential oils. He goes, the women used to smell like essential oils. He goes, nowadays these women stink. I was like, damn, man. It's like, hey, I'm telling you, man, it's possible. Sorry, I kind of went off a little bit when I was telling the story, but the most I brought it back with the stink. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, you just, 
you don't know. And uh, because of you women, you women are going to mess it up for yourselves, too, with this pilgriming and stuff, because men ain't going to want to fuck with you. And then women going to use other women as well. Y'all going to be crying to get stuff from other women. So women are going to, the real women are going to have to, that kind of fell into the feminism is going to start realizing, like, no, I need a man to keep these men off of me, and I need a man to keep these whack-ass women off of me. Okay? Because uh, it's, it's going to happen. You're going to get taken advantage of. And, uh, man, the doctor I was talking to, he even knew there's there's groups of women out there asking for money. He goes, the women make more than us. He goes, sometimes in an hour, I can make more money than I would working. But he works, too. The doctor don't mind. He works. It's just the coronavirus and, you know, like the other the little agencies that, you know, I work with it, that he works with as well. He said he ain't able to work because some people be pulling race cards, which they do. They be giving work to other people instead of like, you know, people best for it because shit don't make sense. How you going to send if I'm an electrician and I have skills, how you going to send a person with no tools, no electrician ability to go do electrician to be a helper when I actually am an electrician. But you gonna send somebody else. That's shit. Why? Because that's your friend. See, you got to get that shit up out of here. But uh, yeah, man, that spirit, it just felt crazy, man. You know how like. You know how Yahweh Shai is like a Levite. He's a Judite, but he got that Levite background because his mother's a Levite. That's how I was asking him. I was like, man, is you a Levite? I know he a Judite, but he felt like a Levite, man. Like he had that like that talk of like that, like a, a Levite or like some type of or, or Benjamite or something, man. Because I was like, man, you a Levite? But I, I, you could tell he a Judite, but it's like, man, you a Levite? Like, and he's like, man, I don't, I don't know, like. It, it, man, it was, I don't know, it was just a real enjoyment to even talk to him. And, and, you know, I was just thankful that he popped back up out of nowhere. You know what I mean? He popped back up out of nowhere. Because, I mean, it's open. It's it's like, it's desert mountain type stuff. You know, he just popped back up on the highway out of nowhere. And he was gone. And I'm talking about in a matter of minutes. His car, everything. So I was like, you know what? It's like, yeah, how about Shimmy Shai gave me another chance? <clears throat> and I was like, thankful, you know. It's lucky if this is all over the place. I'm kind of, I got to get back to work. Um, but you know, the most I got about Shimmy and Shai is he's first. And I've been even, I've been, that's something I've been going through is trying to make sure I put him first because even when I got this money, see, and that's twice he tested me today. When I got this money, I wouldn't thank the guy that gave me the money before thanking him about Shimmy and Shai first. But I did thank him, but I should have thanked him first instead of going to say, hey man, thank you for this money, you know. I went and thanked him first and said, thank you, to uh, Yaba I didn't even look inside to see how much money it was either. I just was thankful. I was like, wow, you know, somebody did some shit for me, you know, even though it was Yahweh put that spirit. And, you know, I, you know, I got to be thankful that that man was there so I could do it, you know, the spirit that Yahweh Bashimi Shai put up on me. So that, that lets you know you, you got to put him first, okay? Um, even for me, you know, that's, that's, that's actually a, maybe like a rebuke or a revelation you know like I, I need to make sure that i'm putting him first even in all things you know so uh if y'all learn anything from this learn to put your how about you shy first in all things like before you do anything you know like if he puts a spirit on you to talk to somebody do that shit first man don't put it on the i think there's a verse that says don't put him day to day or something like that to not day to day Okay, yeah, I think this is it. It's Ecclesiasticus 5 and 7. It says, make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off day from from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh or uh, Hamashiach or the Lord come forth and in the security thou shall be destroyed and perish into the day of vengeance. So, you know, don't put off day to day, you know, the most high. So if you put that spirit on you to quit doing something don't put off you know um and that goes off on another thing you know he keep he keep telling me not to mess with these energy drinks and i'll be like ah oh, this will be the last day i'm coming down i'll have one and then tomorrow you can't put off so i think this mess even though this message is for me i don't know if any of you brothers can use it to make no terry so don't wait don't haste you know if you gotta quit something cold turkey or do something cold turkey you're just gonna have to do that um, it's kind of like yeah, I have the same issue with dreams and I have dreams and most I tell me to put it out there 
Sometimes I'll be like, uh, I'll put it, I'll do it in the morning or like, you know, I, now I start writing it down or like get up and, you know, cause you know, the most high wants you to get that message out. So you got to do the work right then and there. Um, man, I hope this was edifying. Um, I pray this is edifying, uh, to you, Akim, and Aqua, Akim, um, out there listening. Um, and as I said to you women, you know, you want third, you're going to go through stuff too. And so are you, man, you're 144, you're going to go through stuff. Um, but you got to listen, man, to that voice that Yahweh Shai says. Like for a lot of you women, you probably hearing the voice of us and maybe never seen us before. And, you know, the most high may be telling you, hey, that's going to be who you go to or you got to go somewhere. I, I, I'm not sure what he's doing with you women exactly, but he's doing, he's working, you know. Um, <laughs> It's just, man, you just just got to do it, man, when he puts that spirit because you don't know if you're going to get that chance. And that 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 just that's proven right there that, that when the aqua's gone, when I was like, oh, I'll do it right when I come back, he was gone. So I didn't, I almost didn't have the chance to complete what he told me to do, you know. And he kept saying, man, I'm going to pay you back. I'm going to pay you back. I said, nah, man. I was like, you know, I was like, he going to pay me back, you know. He going to pay me back. My father, you know. I was like, he always paid me back, so don't trip, you know? So. Yeah, man, we went over a whole bunch of stuff. We went over talking about the Mormon Bibles and stuff and, you know, Esau and how he look and, you know, that that is just not a mark on his head because he could have covered with that with a hat and that uh, Cain actually had, or that Cain used to like a, Cain had melanin, you know, so that doesn't, that don't make sense because I said the melanin was taken away. That's how you know who he was. And I messed up. I think I said Edom and washed away. And then I said, I think Esau. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm mixing it up. I, you know, I was kind of messing that up. But, um, yeah, man, this was a, to me, it's a blessing unto me, you know, because now it's making me realize, you know, make sure you don't put off that Terry. You know, if he asks you to do something, do it because you don't know. You really don't know if you're going to get that opportunity to do it or not, you know. So make no Terry, you know. Make no Terry, you know what I mean? So, and that, that go back to even, you know, this is a, a different story, you know. Like, um, I had the opportunity to go see my mom before she passed away. I didn't. I didn't. So make sure you do, if you have the opportunity to do something, do it. Because later on, you may not have that opportunity to do it. You know, if you got to go apologize and make a recompense with somebody and you feeling that and the most high is putting that spirit on you, like let's say you you cuss out Elder Tahar or Pastor Dow or following Yeshua, I'm just saying some names of people, you know, and you feel bad, you know, if the most high is putting that spirit on you that you feel like you need to go apologize, go apologize. Because you may not, that might be, oh, that might be the reason you may not get saved is because of whatever it is. You know, the most I put that spirit on you, start gardening, but you don't listen. You don't hearken to the voice. You know, you got to hearken. I think that's the verse to hearken. Okay, so this is Deuteronomy 28, King James Version. It says, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt. Hearken delightly unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Yahabashim Yashai, to observe and do all his commandments, which is his love, which I command thee, which I love thee this day, that the Lord thy God, Yahabashim Yashai, will set thee on high above all nations. You know, and that's spiritual because I was telling him, I was like, right now I'm just waiting for Yahabashim Yashai to raise me up, you know. I'm on that part, a part of my journey where he told me, you know, he had me, he told me how he was going to put me low and he was going to raise me up, you know, in a dream. And I'm like, I feel like I'm in that process of being raised up. So that's spiritual right there to do what he commanded you to do, do what he loves, you know, do his love, do his will, you know. And I was explaining that to the Ak too, that if you love him, you keep his commandments because a lot of people say they love him and they don't, you know, they don't want to keep his commandments. You know, they teach all these things, you know, that. That ain't true. And, you know, he started asking me about your, your, your Yahweh and stuff. And I said, you know, there's no ease, no use and stuff like that, man. This was a, I mean, this lesson was, I mean, we both, sometimes you do a message, but it ain't just for the person. It's for you. You know what I mean? 
You know, I I got edification from talking to him. I'm getting edification from saying this stuff, for telling you and reading this. It's edifying me as well. You know, so um, this is it's edifying and lifting my spirit. You know, helping me have that uh, overstanding to be able to be like, you know what? I need to make sure that I'm listening to his voice. I need to make sure I'm listening when he tells me to do something, you know, to be obedient, to hearken delightly unto his voice, you know, so that he can lift me and raise me and raise us above all nations, you know, because we low right now. We need to get lifted up. So with that said, you know, oh, here we go. Let's read two. And all these blessings shall come on thee. So by us doing what he says, we're going to get blessed and overtake thee. We're going to have so many blessings. We ain't even going to be able to. It's going to overtake us. We ain't going to be able to. It's going to be too much. And if thou hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shall thy be in the city and blessed shall thy be in the field. So that goes back to uh, Elder Tahar did a, a, a lesson on that. And I was selling this out kind of about it that uh uh because we were talking about oh how the bible's words aren't the same and i was like yeah because they mess with it so the power is less you know they took and changed stuff so it's less i was just like just like the vines two men used to grow and i told him how elder tar was talking about doing a lesson about how one vine two men carried the grapes and then i said you know but now only it takes one man and two fingers to carry the grapes you know, so we trying to get blessed in the city, which is in the business and blessed in the field, which is the harvest. You know, um, this is so we, when we reap we or when we sow, we can reap it, you know, reap it. And then in the city, we getting paid for it, you know. So this is where we come into those riches. It says, but thou art rich. So I pray this was edifying. You know, I pray that this was edifying. You know, this knowledge is the this knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability in this day that's coming, you know, because a lot of dreadful stuff's coming, you know, nothing is gone. You still got the Zika virus, H1N1, chlamydia, heart disease, stroke, food killing you. You still got waters that are poisoned. We still got everything coronavirus. There was just so much radiation poisoning and things going on. And, you know, if we want to be blessed and be walking through this day because his people shall eat. His people know his names. His people shall not be ashamed. But the ones that don't listen, when they call unto him, he's going to turn his head. He's choosing one from a city, two from a family. He doesn't need everybody. You got that? One grape from a cluster, the rest he's going to throw away. You know? So with that said, I hope this was edifying as it was edifying to me. Shalom, Yahabashim, Yahashai. Barakatha, Yahweh, Barakatha, Yahweh, Shai, Barakatha.